lovely summer sims Claire here and welcome back to my channel it has been a little bit um i am sorry i know i keep taking like brief breaks and then coming back and saying oh i'm gonna be back i'm gonna be back and then taking like another two weeks off i just have a lot going on my work schedule is pretty crazy it always is um i went home for a weekend to celebrate my grandma's 90th and that didn't necessarily go as planned um, it was definitely an eventful weekend, not as relaxing as I'd hoped it would be, but definitely eventful. And I'm also kind of in the works of trying to get a dog, so I have a lot going on right now. So I've been trying to get videos, I've been trying to find inspiration, but usually I'm just really tired or really not, you know, inspired to build anything. But I got back from my trip today and I had some free time and I haven't played The Sims in a while. And we got a new update and the update doesn't really have anything to do with building, but it was new and it was fancy and I had to update my game anyway. So I came in here and I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a base game house because I haven't made a base game house in a very long time and I think I've actually only ever made two. Um, usually they're very small, very tiny, um, and I don't really like using only base game. I The base game stuff and I don't really mix very well, but we do have some new stuff in base game so I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. Um, I'm calling this maybe, you know, base game blues or... The, or, I don't know, base game blue house, I don't know, I'm gonna call it something along the lines of like a blue base game house or something like that because the house is blue and it is base game only. Now I will triple check before I put this house on the gallery because the last time I said I had a base game only house, there was like one flooring I had used that was cats and dogs and it totally threw the whole thing off. So I will double check and make sure, but I am 95% positive that this house is completely base game only. I had the, the filter on so it should be. Um, it's a very cute house. It's a family house. It is three bedroom, two bathroom, and it's I, it's very minimally decorated because we don't have a lot of decorations with base game, but it is definitely cluttered and cute and very cozy for a family style. Now, as you can see up here, I am doing a front porch. The columns, I say in air quotations, that I'm using on the front porch here are, they're from the debug menu. They are base game. And they kind of, they're not really columns. I usually use them to decorate like the siding of houses because it just, it, it they kind of lay flat. They're not really like three dimensional, but I just put two of them together to make them a little bit three dimensional to work for columns. And I think it looks really cute. My personal favorite column that we have in the game is either the one from Snow Escape or the one from Get Together, the ones that are just straight wooden square columns there's no nothing fancy there's nothing dramatic they are just straight wooden columns and obviously i couldn't use those in this build so i thought that these would make like a nice substitution they're nice they're a little thin so they're not too gaudy and they're not too fancy which is my issue with base game i feel like a lot of the base game stuff is just really over the top it's for like larger like i don't know grander houses but then at the same time there isn't enough stuff to build those types of houses so it's a really weird mix but right now we're doing the landscaping and it's a very basic landscaping. I thought about going into the debug menu, but I don't know. I, I thought that this was probably a really busy family. So all of their plants and stuff were pretty basic greenery. So that way they didn't have to do a lot of maintenance because like I said, this is a family home and one of the, it's three kids, two kids and a toddler is technically the breakdown. So I was like, I was like, I feel like the family wouldn't have a lot of time to like deal with all of that. So I decided to give them some very low maintenance plants, um, some very like luscious greenery. Um, I also used the classic Willow Creek um, cherry blossom tree in the back there because I was home, like I said, I was home for the weekend and the cherry blossoms were blooming back there. So I did want to kind of pay homage to that. Now up here on the front porch, I do a couple of seating areas. I thought that this was kind of cute and I wasn't, I don't usually like the outdoor furniture that isn't seasons, but I forgot that in an update we got these kind of like really cool, almost Caribbean style furniture pieces, and I just used the all white ones so they kind of matched and the colors didn't clash too much, but I thought that they looked really cute on the outside because they're these nice wooden decorative pieces. And then on the inside, we have a little front entryway, and you will see I do a lot of searching in this build because, like I said, there isn't a lot of clutter, there isn't a lot of stuff to do with base game, so you have to like really search and really find some things. I grab some stuff out of the debug menu, but I don't do that that often because it's, 
I don't know, it's hard to search through the debug menu, it's hard to find some things, but I will say that with the base game filter on, I was able to find a lot of things that I didn't realize that we had had. Mainly speaking was the fireplace like utensils that I just pulled out. I didn't know we had those. I don't know when they came in an update. Please let me know in the comments down below if you know when they showed up or if they showed if they've always been there and I'm just crazy. But it's like a whole like with like the fire pokers and all that stuff and I've never seen that before so I decided to pull it out because the house on the outside does have a chimney so I figured that they would have a fireplace on the inside and then right there you kind of saw I changed that room up it was initially going to be a laundry room and then I remembered with base game only there is no laundry in the sim so I changed it to another kids bedroom that's where the toddler is going to be because toddlers it's really hard for them to get up and down the stairs so I figured they could have their own little section downstairs and they could just stay in there and then that way even like when they grow up when they're a kid they have like their own little like their own little thing so I thought that that was kind of cool and then there is a separate dining room off to the side I was initially going to make that little nook and office and put the dining room in here with the rest of the main rooms but I couldn't get it to fit properly and I really wanted this family to have a dining room because I really did think that this family was very family oriented I didn't think about their jobs all that much I thought that they probably both did not work from home like none of them were artists none of them were painters or anything or gardeners I do put garden plots out back but I thought that was probably more of like a hobby I was definitely thinking more along the lines of maybe the dad was like a police officer like he was in the community working with the community and maybe um, the mom was I don't know I, I'm trying to remember the job. Maybe the mom was a chef. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I really didn't think about it. Um, I was just kind of more focused on making sure that a base game house could look complete and like I wasn't missing, you know, clutter and decor and things like that. But besides that, I am going to leave the voice over here um, just because, like I said, I am busy, busy and I just got home today. So I have some unpacking I have to do that I have neglected to do for the past couple of hours. But I am going to leave the voice over here. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. If you do, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time. Bye! Thank you.